This video is called Moving and Copying Like a Champ. The Four Dummies editors really like you to have catchy chapter and section titles, so that's how we ended up with something like Moving and Copying Like a Champ. But really, it's just about moving and copying. Once again, we're going to get rid of Bryce, and we're left with a nice, fresh little SketchUp file here. Okay, let's talk about uh, moving things. First of all, we need something to move, right? So let's, um, what should we move? We'll take a, a little box like this. We'll take the box and we'll select the top surface of the box there, and we're going to go to get the scale tool and just scale the top surface of that box into something that's a little bit more interesting. And then I'm going to do something which um, you haven't probably learned about yet, but I'm going to turn this into a group just so it's easier to move. Watch this. I'm going to say make group. All right. Now that this thing is a group, uh, it's all kind of one piece of geometry. It's kind of an object. It's not just a bunch of faces and edges. I can still edit it by double clicking on it to actually select the individual faces, but now I can just click on the whole thing since it's a group now, and um, and that's it. Now, if you need more information about groups and components, which are like magic groups, you can look at Chapter 5 of SketchUp for Dummies. But that's about as much as I'm going to talk about groups right now. All right, so I made this into a group. What I want to do is I actually want to move this thing. I want to move it over to the right-hand side of my screen here a little bit. So I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to go grab the Move tool. Now, the first thing I want to talk about when you move things is how to use the Move tool. And uh, this is how everybody likes to do it. They like to click down, and they're holding down for dear life. They're holding down on that left mouse button, and they're moving things around, right? And, and as soon as I let go of that mouse button, I'm going to end up dropping it. So the whole, the way, the operation that, that people have here is as long as I'm holding on to this thing, it's not going anywhere. But as soon as I drop it, I drop it. Now, the problem with that is it's not a very accurate way to move things because you have to keep your finger on that mouse button the whole time you're working which means you can't use your other fingers to maybe orbit or zoom or something like that while you're actually working. Here's the better way to move things in SketchUp. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on something. I just clicked on it, and basically by clicking on it, I picked it up. Now, I'm moving my object around here, but you, now I'm twiddling both uh, all ten fingers right now, uh, so you can hear by word picture, let's say, that I'm not actually touching the mouse right now. So what I did was I picked the object up by clicking on it, but now I can move it wherever I want. More importantly, I can zoom in and out, and I can even orbit in the middle of this move operation without actually having to uh, to strain myself or get a cramp or anything like that. Okay, and then the key is when I want to actually put it down, I'm just going to drop it, just like that. Okay, let's look at... Um, another little thing that we want to pay attention to when moving things. I just drew a rectangle over here. Let's say that we wanted to position this guy so that exactly that point right there, this point, this corner point right there on that object, we're exactly at the corner of this rectangle right there. Now, the problem that people run into is they grab the Move tool, and then they pick the thing up, and then they sort of move it over here, right? How do I get it so that this corner is attached to that corner? Well, if I just pick it up any old place, I'm not going to be able to do that. What I have to do is actually very carefully hover over the place in my component or group or just object, let's say, um, that I want to position very precisely. So in this case, this endpoint in my group. I'm going to click to pick it up, and then I'm going to hover over the object that I want to put it on. Now, notice I'm not completely, you know, I'm not oriented properly to be able to do this. So what I might have to do is do this in a couple of different operations. I'll just kind of orbit around. Now let's put this here, and I'm going to put that there, and it's still not really letting me do this, right? Because it, it doesn't want to let me do it very precisely. So what I have to do is kind of let, I might have to do this move operation in a couple different steps. So let's let it let make me put it kind of wherever it wants, but now at least it's dropped down to the right level. Now I can sort of pick it up and move it over there. And what I'm doing is I'm sticking it exactly to the end point on that corner. And so what I've done with a little bit of patience and some accuracy and some zooming and orbiting is precisely position this object exactly where it belongs. Let's pick it up and put it here instead. Or stick this corner to here. Now, of course, that's not going to be easy either. So in this case, we just need to sort of orbit down until it's in the right place. But you can see that moving things in three dimensions 
isn't quite as easy as you'd, you'd think it would be. It's not just a question of just grabbing things and moving them around willy-nilly. You've got to actually pick things up where you intend to pick them up and then drop them where you intend to drop them. I hope that uh, makes some sense. All right. Let's not forget about inferences when we're moving and copying things in SketchUp. If I want to move this up in the blue direction, I'm just going to pick it up and then notice that on blue axis dotted line that's kind of coming out of the bottom of it or I could move it over in the green direction or move it over in the red direction so that's that's how to use inferences when you're moving and copying things and let's also not forget about the value control box the VCB the place where all the numbers and dimensions and things show up in the lower right hand corner of the box now let's say I wanted to move this thing over I don't know, exactly 100 feet, something like that. I want to move it 100 feet in the green direction. I'm going to get it going in the green direction, and then I'm going to type in 100 feet and enter, and it'll have gone 100 feet over there to the right. Uh, let's say I actually wanted to do 200 feet instead, so I'll type in 200 feet, and now it will have moved a total of 200 feet. If that's 200 feet from the place that it originally started from, not 200 feet from the place that it just came from. So. If I, let's say, move it 20 feet, it's only going to go 20 feet from the, from the distance that it was originally going in. So that's how to use the VCB when it comes to moving objects. Okay, let's talk about selecting things or not selecting things in SketchUp. Let's uh, grab this guy and move it up, I don't know, here someplace. I'm just going to kind of set it over here on the ground so that the bottom of this object and the bottom where I'd say the, the entirety of this rectangle are in the same plane. When I'm using the Move tool, I can move things that are selected, or I can move things that are unselected. Here's how it works. If I select something and then use the Move tool, I can click on it to move it. I can also click anywhere in the whole model, and the thing that's selected is actually going to move by as much as I move my cursor. I hope that makes sense. All right. Let's say I don't have something selected. If nothing is selected and I go and get the Move tool, then what I have to do is click on things. So watch as I hover over this thing, I'm actually getting that selecting this object, right? I can move that. Or if I move over this rectangle, let's say I go to move this face, only that face is selected. Or if I hover over this edge, only that edge is selected. Or even more importantly, if I just hover over that endpoint, only that endpoint is selected. So what I'm basically doing is selecting things to move with the Move tool, but it can only select one thing at a time. Let me demonstrate. If I use the Move tool on this face and move it around, you'll see that I can move it along any of these color directions, or I can move it wherever I want. And because the edges are basically defining the face, anytime I move the face, it's going to move the edges too. But watch what happens if I just click on a face. Now as I move this, I'm sorry, if I just click on an edge, as I move this edge around, it's actually stretching the face. So I can move these edges just like this, just by clicking on them. I can also move what's called a vertex, basically where uh, two endpoints come together. And if I do that, I'm actually stretching the shape, just like this. Now, the, the very popular demonstration of how that works in SketchUp is to do something like this. So let's take a little box, and I want to put a peaked roof on top of this box. So I'm going to go from midpoint to midpoint. Now, what I have here is a box. I'm going to get the Move tool, and I'm going to hover over this mid-edge right there, and then click on it, and then pull it up in the blue direction. And it was able to move up in the blue direction just like that because um, it basically bent these two other uh, faces so that so that everything would kind of align. I hope that makes sense.